We are the Comic Cousins. Today we will be continuing the What If mini series titled Spider Man Spider Shadow with its issue 2. Now, those who haven't watched the previous video of issue 1, we strongly recommend to watch it first before you watch this video to get a better grasp of what's happening in this What If series. The link for the issue 1 video would be flashing above. Before we dive into the video, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a video on our channel. So now let's jump into the issue 2 of this What If mini series and see what happened. The issue 2 starts with Peter talking to the symbiote in his mind saying, I had it wrong. I have the power, I have the responsibility. But what is that responsibility? To save people? Keeping them safe? But I never keep them safe. I pretend to putting men in goblin masks in the prison, but prison to them was just a vacation. Time to plot and plan. And those plans lead to murder. Gwen, her father, May. Letting the bastards live was as bad as letting the robber run by me, letting Uncle Ben die. The Venom symbiote then says, your responsibility, but now our responsibility. Then on the next page, we see Peter walking in the streets of New York saying, I thought it would feel worse, taking a life, taking Hobgoblin's life. The symbiote then says, nature, things live, things die, things forfeit, right to live. Peter then says, yes, but I feel the shame. I don't want people to find out. I didn't want Mary Jane to know. The symbiote then tells Spider-Man, but you know that if people fear you, no one does wrong. Peter then says, I don't want people thinking I'm a murderer, as he looks on the front page of the Daily Bugle, which asks the question, Spider-Man, threat or murderer, with a picture of Hobgoblin's body. Elsewhere, we see Kingpin reading the Daily Bugle, asking Wesley, is it true? Did Spider-Man do this? Wesley replies, it appears so, sir. Kingpin says, unfortunately, the only thing that made superheroes tolerable was their moral codes nuisances but never any real danger. My criminal empire can handle a 5% deficit due to Spider-Man's interferences, but it cannot tolerate my death. Wesley, let's make some calls, shall we? Meanwhile, in the Daily Bugle, we see Robbie fighting Jonah as he always does, saying, you can just put in the paper that Spider-Man is a threat. But Jameson replies, saying Spider-Man is a murderer, a man with that kind of power lawlessly beating people up in a mask with no oversight. It was a short step and you were too blind to see it. If we ran Bugle your way, we would have headlines like somebody shot JFK. I trust my gut, I trust my eyes. And then in the next page, we see Spider-Man crashing through Jonah's window. Jonah says, Robbie, call the cops, tell them we just had a murderer break in. Spider-Man says, do it as he grabs Jonah's hand and puts it against the wall, saying, I don't care anymore, Jonah, as he continues to crush his hand into the wall, saying, isn't this what you wanted? You have been whipping up the city for years, telling them I'm a criminal, when all I have ever done was help people. Well, it looks like we both got what we wanted. I am helping more people now, and I'm a criminal, as he breaks Jonah's hand. And before Spider-Man leaves, he says, if I see one more word about me on the paper, I will break the other hand. Then we see Johnny Storm by the Statue of Liberty talking to Reed Richards as the two of them are looking for Spider-Man. Meanwhile, back at Peter's apartment, Mary Jane walks in on Peter sleeping in his symbiote suit. She then asks Peter, Peter, is it true what the Bugle and the other papers are saying about Spider-Man? After taking a moment, Peter then says, I could have saved her, MJ, if I had made the decisions earlier. MJ asks, the decision? He replies, who should live? Hobgoblin? A piece of trash underworld killer? Or Aunt May? The kindest person I have ever known. It's decisions, MJ. Life is decisions. And they are not for everyone. But I have the power to make them, which means I am finally making them. Then, while swinging through the city, Spider-Man is attacked by Shocker and Scorpion. But as we saw before, that Spider-Man is turning into Venom now. He no longer has the moral codes for not killing the villains. So he first kills Scorpion by shoving the symbiote down his throat, 
and then goes to Shocker, killing him. Then he comes to Kingpin's place, where Spider-Man throws the blood-covered limbs of Shocker and Scorpion at Frisk's feet. Kingpin then says, You know when you murdered Hobgoblin? I had my men research the woman who died in the fire, May Parker. To provoke such a reaction, she must have been someone close to you. Our best match was a man named Peter Parker. You. So I went about investigating, seeing if you had any other close family members. I could threaten, but there was no one. So incredibly sad. You have no one, Peter Parker. Anyone you ever loved is. But before he could finish his sentence, Spider-Man kills Kingpin. Then, on the next few pages, we see Dr. Octopus rally Mysterio, Craven the Hunter, Electro, and Rhino to form the Sinister Six, as they were hired by Jonah. Jameson even says, I tried to warn everyone about him for years. He is a killer, and while I think all of you belong behind bars, Spider-Man is the most dangerous villain of you all. We need to stop him at whatever the cost, as he looks at his broken hand. Doc Ock then tells his men, you will be arming the rest of the men when the new Sinister Six takes out Spider-Man. I want you already to take out the others, and I don't trust any of them. One of his henchmen doesn't leave, so Octopus says, Terence, is there anything else? Have I not made myself clear? But Terence then says, Clister clear, sir, stabbing Octopus in the back. And on the last page, we see it's actually Eddie Brock saying, Sorry, Doc. Can't let you just kill Spider-Man when that's my job. And with this, the issue 2 of the What If miniseries, Spider-Man Spider Shadow, ends. So this is all for today guys. If you like the video, then hit the like button, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. And to stay updated. So stay safe, stay curious, and stay nerdy. We will meet you in the next video.